This product was sent to me from Pilotfly to review, but I wasn't paid anything for what I'm about to say. As always, there's an affiliate link below if you fancy getting yourselves one of these. So the Atom Cube RX1 from Pilotfly comes well packaged in a nice box. That's enough, isn't it? Are people still doing these like really long drawn out unboxings? Ugh. So once out of that lovely box, the RX-1 is a portable RGB light and as such, not only is it made out of very durable all aluminium body, the carry case is like an oversized leatherman case with a heavy duty Velcro fastening, a top clip for a carabiner, and also one of these funky press studs to allow you to strap it to your belt. Please do not strap it to your belt. The yuppies in the 90s had that covered. The inbuilt 4000 milliamp hour lithium polymer battery is charged by USB type C with the included cable. The RX1 also comes with a mountable L bracket and three mounting options, two quarter inch and one half inch all on one side. For ease of use on set when you're looking to just dial in one color, the color wheel is printed on the back and the full 360 degrees labeled out in 60 degree segments. For instance, you're looking to just get a nice blue. You can see that blue on the wheel. It's around 180 degrees. Then all you need to do is go to hue and then cycle around to 180. Then let's say you find that color and it's the right color, but it's a little bit too harsh. Take down the saturation and done. Bit too bright, the dedicated scroll wheel can dial up or down those percentages, 10 being the lowest. However, once you pair this with a mobile device, that's when this beauty really comes into its own. With one mobile device, you can connect up to 255 of these and affect them all through Bluetooth mesh technology. I only got one. But check it out. So first in the app, you have a list of all the devices that's connected. As you can say, that's that one right up there, RX1 one because it's just one clicking in you start off with the hsi and you can see there's already seven colors pickable red orange yellow green blue dark blue and purple mm. party so many colors so anyway let's go for this green okay so with this tab i can turn up and down the brightness as you can see but i can also tweak that green so let's make it a little bit more, I don't know, like a marine like. Now let's say that greeny blue is exactly what I'm looking for. It's great. I don't want to dim the light, but I'd like the color to be a little less intense. Let's turn it up a little bit more bright so you can see it better. So let's tab along to hue and saturation. As you can see, that color has already been picked out. You can see 153 degrees, saturation 100%. Now where that dot is, if I just grab that and just drag it towards the center, it takes down the saturation, but not the brightness. So, I mean, that kind of opens up everything, doesn't it? You want a blue, you want it proper blue, proper bright, but let's keep the brightness, but let's just dial back the blue a little bit. I mean, I mean, it's cool that, isn't it? I like it. I like being able to affect the hue and the saturation all in one little tab. Now the next tab along is CCT. So you can actually dial in what Kelvin you want. If you're not necessarily looking for Air RGB or anything, you can dial in what Kelvin. So let's say you want 5600K, that's daylight balanced temperature. Yeah, you know. Um, or let's, let's kind of cool it down. There's 6500 there, 7000, 8500. Light I'm shooting with at the moment is, uh, I think it's a 5600K. So, I mean, that should quite possibly match. No, maybe. Uh, but we can take it all the way down to, you know, 2500K. And again, with that wheel in there, you can affect just how much Kelvin it is. So all these are picked for you all the way up to 8500, but you can also tweak it up and down the warmth of the spectrum. It's good, huh? Mm, Kelvin. So moving on to the next tab at the bottom, as you can see, scene. Let's leave the brightness. This brightness, as you can see, is all the way through uh, and the brightness just, you know, it's, it's up and down. So let's leave it at 100 so you can see from now. Let's go over to scene. And as you can see from the get go, you can kind of see where we're going with this. But I tell you what, if you edit it and have that just there, <laughs> it doesn't quite work for me. I actually I quite like thunder and lightning. I'm a little bit of a, yeah. Anyway, moving on, as you can see, flash B is, it's similar, it's a little bit more aggressive. Uh, flash C, can't really work out what that one is, other than just, 
just three variations of a flash. Onto the next line down and we have full color. So that cycles all the way through the, uh, the color wheel. Red is just, it's red. Do you know what I mean? It's a nice pulsing red. What more do you want? Onto party and it's very much like full color, but it just cycles through that color gambit a little bit quicker. Next row is a selection of emergency services lights to give that effect. So first off, probably quite useful on an indie shoot. Just be aware that if you're driving around with lights like this emitting from your vehicle, pretty much illegal. Uh, moving on to, you've got blue, white, and you've got red and white, obviously to emulate the police, the fire brigade and the paramedics. Onto the bottom row, and these are ambient settings to help add to a scene. There's TV. Hold on, let me, let me move it. I'm watching TV. This is fire, flame A, but also candle. I mean, if you're on location and you're shooting something, you want that kind of effect. This is perfect for it, you know, as you can imagine. Mm, so exciting this. But let's go to the third tab. Hold on, let's, let's get everything how it was. And we're back here, we've got that kind of greeny, bluey, marine. Let's, uh, mm, I like that, I really like that color. Um, and moving on to DJ. And yes, it is kind of what it says on the tin. Uh, as you can see, I've got no music playing at the moment. There's no music, but if you switch it over to the other tab, actually I'm gonna have to switch off my screen recorder, but as you can see, it's there. If I switch over to the tab, as you can see there, it's already reading from my voice. You can switch from normal to rock, colorful, dream, and less color. But let's be fair, who would want less color? If I get a copyright strike, uh, anyway. Um, hey Google, play some techno. All in all, I've got to say, this light is all things to everyone. It's equally at home in a pro videographer's toolkit and also an indie shooter looking to emulate those scenes on a budget. It's got built-in effects to get that quick dramatic shot. It's perfect for dialing in just that hue you're looking for. Or to add as ambient light or even a kicker light for a talking head. Links below for where to get this cracking piece of kit. Thanks again to Pilot Fly for sending this out. I'm gonna have so much fun with this.